Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Let us see the differences between spontaneous and non-spontaneous reaction. Spontaneous reaction, it is a reaction which occurs on its own or after the proper initiation under the given set of conditions. But non-spontaneous reaction, it is a reaction which does not occur on its own. Chemical reactions which are spontaneous at given conditions are feasible reaction, but non-spontaneous reactions are not feasible. In electrochemistry, a redox reaction is spontaneous if the standard electrode potential is positive. It means the species undergoing reduction should have higher electrode potential. A redox reaction is considered as non-spontaneous if the standard cell potential is negative. Cell reaction to be spontaneous Tel dot G must be negative. It means value of E, electrode potential, must be positive because Tel dot G naught is equal to minus N of E naught cell. But in non-spontaneous reaction, Tel dot G is negative. In electrochemical cell, the flow of electron from zinc to copper is considered spontaneous because in reactivity series zinc is in upper position than copper so this reaction is considered as feasible but the reverse reaction that means copper to zinc is not considered as spontaneous so the reaction is not feasible Hence, this reaction is considered as non-spontaneous reaction. Thanks for watching.